Hi everyone, this is Big Benedict. We're playing Devil May Cry 1 on Dante Must Die difficulty. This is the 15th of 23 total missions. It's entitled Wheel of Destiny. Out here you're going to have the Cryclops enemies, the Rock Spitters, these guys, or you're going to have the Blades. So it just kind of depends what you get at first when you start the chapter. If you don't like whomever you're fighting, you can just go back into the door you spawn from and then you'll have a, you'll possibly have a different enemy to fight. Um, but anyway, anyway, this is a boss, uh, a boss video. It's going to be a boss video at the end. In the next chapter, we're also going to be fighting a boss, Nightmare, the first of the three encounters with him. But fortunately, this will be the last time we're fighting the Griffin. And this guy is goddamn hard. It, he's a really challenging foe. But the thing that makes this fight a little bit easier than the fight out here that we had, like literally, literally like right in this environment a few chapters back, I think in chapter 9 it was, is that before the cutscene he does not tank your uh, your hits so you can get your like realistic damage off of him like if you're playing on normal or or maybe even hard so it's not like you're hitting him with and he's and you're only taking a sliver off of him once the cutscene's over though then he goes into tanking mode okay so here we're going to get the what's it called the meteorite or the illuminite something it's essentially a flashlight because uh, if you don't get it, then you're not going to be able to see. Plus, we're going to be going back into the castle, and all the lights are going to be turned off. The music's going to be really creepy. And we're going to be, you know, on the final leg of, of this campaign, this odyssey that is uh, Devil May Cry 1. Uh, now, the only reason I'm going in here is because there are some items beyond the door with the crack on it. So what I would do if I were you is I would go into each of these rooms and I would get all the items and then I would uh, also just go to the Colosseum and get get the yellow orb and get the blue orb they're going to be yellow there's gonna be two uh, they're both yellow for me because I've got both um, I've got all the blue orbs so it just kinda of depends on what you have so so I would just get everything save your progress before you do the fight and then if you expend too many continues on the Griffin, uh, just reload, and then the only thing you'll have to do is just get the Staff of Judgment and then go to the Coliseum. That's all you have to do because the game will save all the items that you've picked up as any, as well as any money that you've garnered for yourself through kills or through pickups. So uh, that meteorite. Uh, I know I'm saying I don't know I can't remember what it's called the magicite or something the the flashlight it'll be in whichever room you choose to go into first uh, so this is the only room where you have to go to the end because the staff of judgment is in this room uh, I believe at the termination of the other room there was the nightmare beta that I've already uh, picked up long ago I think it was on normal that I picked that up but um, yeah, these fetishes are pretty tough too. I think the fetishes are harder than the shadows. As as dangerous as that sounds, but <laughs> anyway, yeah, the Griffin fight. I died no less than twenty times, maybe twenty five times. Same same amount of times that I died on the first Griffin fight that we did with him the first time. And I got to tell you, it was really satisfying and really rewarding to beat that son of a bitch because. That guy is so formidable of a foe, and you only have you only get five hits and then you're dead. You know, with some exceptions, but it, it's around five. You know, five strong attacks of his and you're dead. And he takes like a hundred hits to kill. Uh, but for this death scissors right here, what you want to do is just jump off the wall, come down on his horns with the devil trigger, Alistor equipped, and it only takes three hits to kill this guy. Um, I did want to caution you guys against um, getting the the blue and the yellow orb on top of the Colosseum. You have to do it prior to the fight with Griffin because if you get it after you defeat Griffin, then you can't access the top through those warp portals. There might be some, you know, weird way to jump up there, but I'm not aware of it. So over here is the Staff of Judgment. What I'm going to have for Griffin, though, equipped. Is going to be my Ifrit and my grenade gun because I personally feel that the best way to deal with him is not through melee attacks because it's just 
I, don't, I just don't think the fight lends itself to to that kind of situation. Like, he does a lot of projectile attacks, and that's what you have to get good at uh, evading. So it's it's all practice, guys. I mean, there were several times when I almost killed him, and like so, so many times where he killed me very quickly. Uh, but this particular fate, this particular fight that I have on on record here now for the guide, uh, I think I was still in the green at the end, and I didn't use any. Did I? I don't think I used any holy water, but I do know that I did not use any healing items. I don't think I. No, I did not use any holy water. I use holy water on Nightmare because you can actually use some on him if he has ex his core exposed. Otherwise, it does absolutely nothing. Now, when you get in here, the fastest way to get the first orb is to go up the turquoise portal, which is over here to our right. Don't go in the circle, though, because it won't let you say, like, yes or no, and it'll start to fight early. So go up on this one first, and uh, I, I would just pick up the healing items, and if you're... If you're low on health, that you know that'll be fine too. If you uh, are at full health, they'll give you the money. Um, the way this game um, works, respawning is that if you uh, if if you don't have full health and you die, it's gonna fill you up all the way. But if you don't have devil trigger and you die, it doesn't fill up your devil trigger, which is fine by me. That's actually pretty considerate. At least they fill you up on the hardest difficulty. But here is the. That is the blue orb. The other one that I got previously was the yellow orb. And here's the other one. I don't bother with like trying to get these during the fight. It's just pointless. Uh, but the first thing that I'm going to do on this guy immediately is the air raid. Because he does not tank the air raid. Like I said, he does not tank hits at all prior to the cutscene. And I think this is the safest way to go about dealing with this guy. Although, you, you see how he's not in the air right now? He responded to me because I I did the air raid and then I fell down because what happened was if you rewind that I was too low to the ground and then I had to re jump so that's why he was a little bit late to go up into the air. But see how much life I took away from him like that's all the life you have to to really take off of him because he gives you all those free hits and they are free because you do nothing to earn them really I mean. Uh, on landing, though, from that, what I do is I, qu I, I switch to my Ifrit, and I've got the grenade gun. And at this point, there's no, I have no way, way in hell of knowing where he is. Uh, if he gets any lucky hits, I get really irritated here. But for the most part, uh, just use the grenade gun, and if you are getting the job done, just go ahead and uh, activate the devil trigger. Now, I threw a meteor right there. It does twice the damage that the gun does. But I really get off my stride when I use the meteor attack, so I stick to using this the uh, the grenade gun attack with the double trigger if I have it. Uh, now you notice that move that he just did. We've seen that before. We've also seen this charge move, which you just dodge at the last second when he tries to bite you. Um, his electric attacks differ though from the previous fight. He does these now, which. It, it, it's different visually, but it's the same tactic. You just roll right through them right before they hit you, and you get your iframes. Um, occasionally, I'll use the meteor attack, but I just don't depend on it. And you also notice that when I'm jumping, I have that offensive attack, which doesn't even take double trigger, so you could possibly damage him even more by that that way. So he has this electric attack, and he also has another electric attack, which I don't think he demonstrates here. But if you see it, what you do is. Uh, you wait till it comes together and then you jump once to the left. That's what I believe he does. Okay, let me just see if he does this. What you really don't want to have happen is uh, you don't want to stay close to him when he's when he flaps his wings and sends the dust out because then he'll probably do the electric attacks and you don't want to be too close to him when he does that because you won't have enough time to avoid um, you know and set it up in your mind to to evade. Uh, he does darken the sky and send out a flurry of electric attacks. Here, here he does it right now. He sends out a bunch that don't harm you, and then he'll send one single flare over to you, which you need to avoid. I just roll through it myself. I don't, like, walk around it. I just kind of roll through it. Um, here, he, what's he doing? Char he's going to charge. He telegraphed that really well. And he fell over, but he's not dead. He's just in... Uh, he's giving you free hits. I think there might be a way to get a critical hit while he's falling down because he has like a fluorescent hollow chest cavity 
being like a creature of the undead, so you might want to research that. Uh, but here is the final leg of our journey here, and fortunately, I didn't end up sabotaging myself uh, unconsciously, like I mentioned in the previous fight, and we're going to get this guy down. And uh, that is hard. I mean, seriously, that is a hard fucking fight. And if you do it straight up without using any, any items, it just makes you feel really good, and now you've really accomplished something great. But anyway, I'm going to see you guys in the, ne in the next chapter.